is that you want it to look kind of insane like this when you're first done drying because okay <laughs> Alright everybody, today is going to be a little different as maybe you can tell because I'm sitting here with wet hair in my bathroom which is very echoey. But a lot of you have been asking for a couple of months now for me to do a hair video which I have been very reluctant to do. First of all because <clears throat> I'm new to having longer hair and to doing it and getting the curls to come out. This is like, it has been totally like I on YouTube watch videos and tutorials and I've learned how to handle my hair and its texture, but I'm still new to it. So that was one reason. And second, I just feel silly doing a hair video because it's not really my style or this not kind of what we do here on the channel, but I have been asked a lot of times, I've got messages about it. So here I am, I'm gonna do a hair tutorial. For most of my life, um, cumulatively, I've had short hair. And so I haven't ever had to figure out my hair texture, but whenever I have grown it out, my hair has been fluffy and frizzy and um, like, so I just always ended up flat ironing it or, um, or something along those lines because I just didn't know what to do with it. I would notice though um, on, if I was in a really humid place like the beach or Ireland, um, that my curls would really come out. I knew I had curls. I would often have like ringlets underneath that then fluff on top. And I <clears throat> just thought I had weird or, or bad hair I didn't know that for me, um, I have naturally curly hair, but it's also very dry. And so if I don't use products to help keep it moist and do certain things and certain techniques, my, my curls will come out underneath, I guess, but they just get fluffy and frizzy on top. Next thing, um, usually I don't wait this long after my shower to do my hair, but <laughs> I don't know how to teach I don't know how to do this. Okay, let me tell you what products I have discovered and what I'm using. First of all, I um, use a, like a all natural shampoo from doTERRA. We sell doTERRA. I love their shampoo and conditioner. It's a new formula and I love it even more than their last one, which I already loved. I don't shampoo my hair very often though. I tried to do it where I didn't shampoo at all, but it just gets, it gets heavy and I can feel after a while like um, it just doesn't feel good anymore. It's not fluffy anymore and it's too greasy. So um, I have to wash it about once a week or so. The washing is the main thing, just don't have a really harsh shampoo that really dries it out. And I try to focus mostly on my roots and I don't have to you know, really scrub the ends of my hair. Maybe this is something that everybody with long hair knows. And then the next thing I do is I condition running but I found like either combing it through or combing it with my fingers, like an actual comb. So that it's really dispersing over all of my hair and really smoothing down those cuticles. That's really, really helpful. Then I will rinse that out. And now these days I will also take just a small amount of my conditioner, which I'm happy with. It's not, you know, full of chemicals and yucky stuff that are coating my hair. It's an all natural one. I will put just a little bit in my hair as a leave-in, just like a dime-sized amount. I learned that from Andrew. Andrew um, figured out his curls long before I did, and he used this conditioner as his main product. Next thing I learned through the internet, through YouTube, is that you shouldn't mess with it too much and that you really should keep it as wet as possible. So get yourself a spray bottle. I got this one at the dollar store. Nothing too fancy. You just want to make sure that the spray bottle can spray like more misty and not like just a directed stream so that you can get your hair wet with it easily. The next products or the products that I use are from a company called Love Your Curls. I am not endorsed by them or anything. I will put a link to Amazon where I get them from. And if you want to get them on Amazon and you use my link, I will get a little bit of something from that. So that's happy, that's nice, I'll take it. I have gotten both of these products. They have a thing on their website where you can go through and kind of put in what type of hair and curl you have. 
and it'll tell you what products to use. Um, so I did that um, and I got these two. I actually have ended up using this gel more and this is actually what all of my, sorry that I'm staring at myself so much. I also hate that. I should be looking at you, but because I'm talking about my hair, I keep looking at myself. That's one of my pet peeves when people just stare at themselves in their own lens. Stop looking at yourself. I really have ended up using this more. Interestingly, you might be like, oh, gel is so drying for my hair. This is not drying for my hair at all. And it almost seems like I can't use too much. Like, I'm like, I wonder if I used a little bit more. Well, then I'd be like, okay, that was too much. I can use a lot of this gel and it still does not get crispy. And what I like about it, this is very hydrating. Both have helped my hair be curly. I can use both and not have frizzy hair. But I do feel like the gel holds longer. Like my curls will hold into the next day better when I wake up. I'm still experimenting with wearing a sleeping cap at night for my curls, they, they, they last longer. Um, but usually what I do is I either, the second day, you know, some of the top are kind of weird now. I'll usually just, you'll notice a lot of times in my video, I've pulled the sides back um, or I'll just re-wet it and do the whole thing again. It's just that this isn't like a super fast process. Okay, second thing is I'm blow drying my hair. Um, you can just leave it wet and walk, but that takes literally like two hours for my hair to dry. And I don't really wanna walk around with wet hair that long. And I do feel like my curls set better. They last longer for days afterwards if I do it with medium heat in my diffuser. Um, the main thing is when I used to diffuse, I was doing lots of movement. And what you're doing is you're breaking up the ropes of your curls and you're just making it way too fluffy. So you'll see as I'm doing that. Um, another thing you might want to have is a comb. This helps distribute the product sometimes. The main thing is that you want your hair wet. Now when I say wet, my hair looks pretty wet right now. This is not wet enough because if I right now look like this with my hair, you notice that it, it will curl, but the curls are very, um, they don't, it's not roped up and that gives you lots of fluffy curls, more like an 80s perm. And that's what I was always getting before, um, except when I was like at the beach and stuff and it would naturally dry from wet and then I would get my curls. So without further ado, enough talking, I'm gonna get my hair wet. Okay, it's kind of wet right now. I almost never am able to do my hair, no matter how much I've just stepped out of the shower without adding wetness to it. Um, water. So I'm actually going to start with my gel already and then I'm going to add in more water. I'm putting um, about that much on my hands. It's kind of by feel for me, um, but I want to distribute it through my hair with a little bit of water. So like that. This is my first step. I really do use a lot of product, but you know what's wild? My boys do too. They use the same product, but it lasts forever like months. It's kind of crazy that there are three of us using a lot of product. Did it again. I'm do it on this side now. And it lasts as long as it does. So I'm getting it distributed through my hair. But if I scrunched right now, I'm still gonna have pretty thin curls. The, another mistake I was always making with my curly hair is that I would comb it and then scrunch it. So I would have this, I thought I didn't have curls at my crown, so I'd have it kind of straightish to here and then curls, which I did not like the look of. So, so I've kind of got the product to my hair. It needs to be more wet though. More wet. More water. And you might say, how do I know? You'll know because you'll start to feel your hair. Well, you hear this sound. It does go on the floor. I don't mind it. I just wipe it up. You'll start to see your hair rope up. What I mean by rope up is it'll go into sections. You see how these starting to section off and now my hair, my curls are in these bigger ropes. So now I'm going to do a little bit more of spraying just to get it as ropey as I can. And you'll feel it, it feels a lot smoother. It feels thicker. Once it's in this ropey state, it's all like this. I'm gonna scrunch it, I'm gonna leave it over and I'm doing more product. About that same amount again. Isn't it amazing that my hair doesn't get crunchy? And I start to go like this. 
And this, because of the water, this their products are water activated, but also the water will distribute it evenly so you're not having like crunchy parts and then like fluffy parts. And I'm just scrunching. And if it's, if you start to feel it like separating into smaller ropes, add more water. More water. More water. And then I just try to like shake it because I don't want to, I want the, the height. Some people will pin the top of their hair, but I can't, I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I just try to move it. Now, another thing, if you want to, when you're first figuring it out, your hair will start to like know where it should go. So I don't have to do this anymore, but you can kind of throw your head back like this and then it like kind of figure out a natural part. But you see how mine's already kind of, going into that natural part. I got some good ropes. I know how it feels. I might want to add, insanely, just a little bit more product. Just to give it a good coating. One thing I haven't figured out is I will get these like random hairs up here that kind of get pulled out or like here and they get stuck and they don't get as curly because they'll get stuck to my head or they'll kind of get wrapped up in other hairs. But that's the sound you want to hear, then you know it's wet enough. Curl right there. This is just going to create more voluptuous looking curls instead of like itty bitty fluffy ones. Now, I'm going to go straight into the drying phase of my hair. I would recommend getting a simple cloth. This one's very simple. That has a second hand because you really want to make sure that you're not moving around too fast. You wanna hold the, the hair dryer there for at least 30 seconds. And that takes a lot longer than you think it does, the 30 seconds. Um, so I recommend having a clock like that. I tried a watch or uh, your phone, but that is just the easiest because it's analog. I just look over there and like done. This is not a fancy blow dryer, just the Conair. Nothing special, none of those. I wish I had bells and whistles, but I just keep it on medium heat and low. It only has lower high, but it feels a little bit more like a medium. Now we're gonna blow dry it. I'm going to grab some sections and try to, like you're gonna watch yourself because sometimes you'll have hairs like this and those will get weird. So you just wanna make sure you're getting all of them in there and then we're gonna hold it there. You don't have to hold it against your scalp completely because that can get really hot. You're just gonna hold it out a little bit, but here we go. Another thing is I will scrunch. There's a point where you can start to feel it damaging your curls, not damaging, but like breaking them up. It's actually called gel breaking and you wanna wait. You don't wanna gel break too early um, where it starts to separate the ropes. But also I wanna train them back into ropes because sometimes in the movement they will go away. Because sometimes in the movement they'll start to fall apart. want to look kind of insane like this when you're first done drying because it will be the thing that will keep a lot of volume in your hair. You think like this is way too big but it will rest and um, be just right. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let it set for a little bit and cool, and then we're gonna come in and I'm going to fluff it. Um, and separate some of those curls. These are the ones I have the biggest problems with because they just get in weird patterns. Somebody also asked in one of the videos what my actual haircut is. 
This is just what a grown out pixie looks like <laughs> with curls because you can see it's longer in the back and shorter on the sides, which can be weird, but with the curls, it kind of works. But I always get little weird ones like this. Usually it doesn't matter too much, but if they're really weird, I will take like this one maybe, a wand and kind of help, help them a little bit, but come back in a few minutes once it's rested and set. Okay, my part today wanted to go further than normal, which I'm fine with. I did a little bit more drying as you could see. It still has some slightly damp parts. And it still has weird parts, like, you know, but I don't think it really matters. It's also what I've come to accept that now that I, I have more, this is obviously not really curly hair. This is pretty wavy hair. I don't mean pretty, I mean like it's fairly wavy. Um, I get more the ringlets underneath here, as you can see. I know that some of you who have real curly hair out there will be like, oh, you don't have curly hair. I know, I have wavy hair. I don't know, that might be too much. Anyways, um, <laughs> so, but when I've looked at more people with wavy curly hair, I've realized that their, their curls aren't usually very uniform either, and you don't really notice it, so it's okay. Um, this one's a little bit weird for me. Do you see that? So I might come in with something on that. I don't know. Now, you can see, I put tons of product in my hair and I don't have to gel break it. That's where you have so much gel that you kind of have to break it up. I actually think that's a good thing because it kind of helps set the ropes. So I could probably keep experimenting and use even more product in my hair and it would probably do even better. The ropes would stay together even more. But, um, so you can see that you can use a lot of that. And you can also, I don't know if you can tell, my hair is not dry at all. That gel is not drying, it doesn't have, let's see, no alcohols, right? It has Irish sea moss, acai, aloe vera, passion fruit oil, right? Chamomile, lavender, honey. You know, the stuff that doesn't do anything. Rice bran oil, this is their medium hold. You guys, I can't read this close. It doesn't have sulfates, silicones, parabens, paraffins, or synthetic dyes. So, does not dry your hair. I'm a fan. I need to learn to use more. And those of you who are like hair experts out there, you just watched the playback like my like my coach. So I'm sure you can tell me why I get these weird hairs here, what I'm doing wrong, and let us all know what you do to bring out your waves and your curls. Okay, it's been like five, 10 minutes maybe. There's still a little bit of dampness, but it's dry enough now that I can just kind of go in and fluff it up a bit. This is called gel breaking. It's not a Utah accent saying jail. It's the breaking of the gel. Now you can see that even with all that product I put on there, maybe you can't, it's very soft, which means I could probably put like a million more layers of gel in there and it would probably rope off even better. You'll also see that like I have this weird hair I don't know what happened to that one. Um, everything else is fine, but I will probably go in, oh, this one's kind of weird. See how those just, I don't know why. I think they get stuck in ropes and then they rope strangely. So I will go in and take my wand and just fix that. It'll take like two seconds, but I didn't want to because I wanted to show you what it looks like all the way around. And um, I have always felt like it took forever. Though I looked on this, it was like 25 minutes. <laughs> when it was all said and done. So I think I can put 20 to 25 minutes into doing my hair. And I was also talking so um, and trying to show it effectively. So um, I'm 44 years old and this is the first time in my life that I've known how to handle my hair and what it needs for me, like lots of moisture and um, how to dry it or not dry it or whatever. So. Maybe you have some curl too. I love the Love Your Curls line. Like I said, I in their website, I think they have a quiz. You can buy it on Amazon. It comes really quickly. And um, I have yet to be able to overuse their product yet, which is pretty great. And yet it also lasts a really long time. So that's my hair. Um, thanks for coming and checking it out. <laughs> this is, but so, Tomorrow it won't, this top will be a little bit weirder and I will then just kind of pull the sides back and hide that. But anyway, some of you are hair experts and I'm sure saw maybe what I was doing wrong to get these weird ones like that and that. But um, I've also noticed now that I'm looking at more women around me with curly or wavy hair, 
um, that their curl isn't perfect either. Like some of them are a little fluffier and some of them are less curly than others. And I don't know that it really matters. So maybe you have more curl than you realize. Maybe your hair is um, not frizzy, it's just dry. And I guess it is frizzy, but maybe it's not eternally frizzy. It's just thirsty. That's what my hair was. As requested, there is your hair video. Um, and thanks for coming along. Thanks for being my friend, my girlfriends. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.